Hello my friends, welcome back to this new lesson about page 41 in your Author Strings book. And in this lesson today, we're practicing the low second finger on the A string, which is called a C natural. So if you look at the grid at the top of your page, I'll show you first what that means. And then by the end of the lesson, I'm sure you'll feel very confident playing that C natural on your violin. So let's take a look at the grid at the top of page 41 in your book. And here we see the notes on the A string, and we've got an A. First finger on A is called B. Now this is our new note today, which is the second finger close to the first finger. And as a result of that second finger being close, we've got a gap between fingers two and three. And this note here is called D. So we've got A, B, C, D. And those are the notes and the finger pattern that we're going to play in this lesson today. You may remember that we used to play C sharp there and all that's changed now is that my second finger has gone here. Now have a look at where the gap is between my fingers when I've got the C sharp. The, the gap between my fingers is between fingers one and two. And now when I lower the second finger, can you see the gap appear between fingers two and three? My third finger hasn't changed and it's always a good idea to check this third finger tuning with the open D string. And then you know that the third finger hasn't changed and it's still in the same place. Now, when we have the second finger lower, like we have here, you'll feel some strain maybe in between your fingers and that is a good thing and I want you to make sure that you your gap between your fingers starts here from your finger knuckle and not just having your finger knuckle together and then starting you and then having the gap there nearer the tip of your finger so if you feel this gap here between your knuckles that is a good thing let's take a look now at exercise 156 and we're going to play that together at the upper half of the bow I'll count us in for four. Let's have your bow ready in the middle. And I just want you to check that your left thumb is upright here. There we go. One, two, three, four. Terrific. And now give your arm a really good rest because having that second finger low has maybe put more strain on your shoulder and your upper arm. So always come back to that relaxed state, really relaxing that arm. If you've enjoyed this lesson so far and you've learned something, do give us a like, please. Thank you so much. In the next couple of days, when you keep on practicing this and placing your fingers accurately on the strings, what are you going to look out for? First of all, it's your left thumb. It needs to always be upright here. And if you feel yourself going this way, look at what effect it has on my wrist. So let my, I let my thumb come up and you can see that my wrist is straight and my thumb is up. That means that my fingers are more on my fingertips. Look, if I collapse like this you can see perhaps that my fingers lean backwards and that's not where I need them I need my fingers on their fingertips even when you've got a second finger that's low there we go so that is something that you want to keep working on that you're always playing on your fingertips and that your your wrist is straight and that your thumb is upright there at no point at this level of your playing do you need to go fast so please bear that in mind slow and accurate is the right way forward. 
I wish you good luck with your practice. Let me know in the comments section down below this video how you're getting on. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.